Hi there everyone, welcome back to Cody's Lab. So if you've been watching my channel in the last little while, you'll know that I have long hair, which is frequently very messy. Now, a problem that I've been having recently is when I go to comb it, or brush it, a lot of the hair gets ripped out. I don't know if you can see that. And combined with the fact that I wear armor, which rips the hair out as well, my hair has actually been getting shorter over recent time. Well, something that got recommended to me is wide tooth wooden comb. And this works rather well. It doesn't rip out nearly as much hair. Kind of like it. It has an awesome smell. It's a sandalwood. I just have one problem. I want to know, will it charcoal? <laughs> so, it's made of wood. It should pyrolyze and form charcoal just fine if I heat it up in an absence of oxygen. And we know from previous videos that the organic items tend to keep their shape rather well, such as the flowers. Will it maintain its shape and structural integrity well enough that I could still comb my hair with it after it's been turned into charcoal? Maybe I'll uh, try charring some of the hair. I think it might melt, but let's see what happens. So this should be pretty straightforward. I'm just going to put it inside of one of these cans. Oh, problem. That don't fit. Let's see. Ah, it might just barely work. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to seal it in those cans. And the space here, where air can get in, I'm going to fill with some sacrificial charcoal. And this will burn away all the excess oxygen. So the comb don't burn. Okay that in there. Now for the hair, I'm going to use a smaller can. Let's, let's try to like fluff it up a little bit. That should do it. Stick it in there and do the same thing. I also have this wooden comb. This is a little bit more of a fine tooth. Definitely pulls out a lot more hair than the uh, wide tooth comb does. Let's see what happens when we charcoal this one as well. Okay, just seal it up and turn on the furnace. You know what? I forgot the sacrificial charcoal on this one. Let me do that real quick. Here we are, we've started to smoke. So what's going on in there is the wood, which is mostly cellulose and lignin, is breaking down, just like a pot of sugar on a stove. It's releasing water, carbon dioxide, hydrogen, trace amounts of methane and nitrogen. And those, of course, are going off into the air. And assuming the water content's low enough, I might be able to light it on fire. Now reduce the smoke a little bit. And when all those volatiles are baked off, what you're left with is the carbon and ash. So the ash is like uh, calcium, sodium carbonates, that sort of thing. Stuff that won't evaporate even at these temperatures. It actually smells quite pleasant. Must be the essential oils coming out of that sandalwood. Oh, that's not good. That should be way over here right now. Yeah. Something broke. Well, it definitely got hot enough to convert it to charcoal, so I'll just let it cool down. And I'll, I'll fix the furnace later. It did what it needed to. So, we've had a little while for things to cool off. Let's pull this out of here and see what we got. Oh, I don't like how part of it still feels warm. Should just be able to pull them apart like this. Uh. <laughs> well, uh, there's part of a comb. 
That did not fare very well. That shrunk substantially. Look at that. Oh, I see. This part broke off of there. So I managed to jam this other piece into there. There was a groove that it still kind of fit into. But it looks like the two pieces of wood shrunk at different rates. And that's why they separated. And uh, here's a piece of the handle. It just goes in right there. Maybe I could glue it. I don't know. Let's check out the uh, other one here. Okay, it seems to have fared a little bit better. It's got a weird curve to it, but at least it's all in one piece. It feels so light. And let's have a look at the hair. Hair. <laughs> there is no hair. Oh wait, there it is. There's like a melted puddle down at the bottom of this can. Yeah, so the hair melts, as I predicted. And that makes sense. Uh, the bees their exoskeletons is made of the same stuff. That's why the bees melted together. Immediately after saying that, I realized I'm probably going to get 10,000 people commenting that insect skeletons are made out of chitin and hair is made out of keratin. Different chemicals. But what I mean is they're both polymers and they behave kind of similarly in this situation. Anyway, uh, let's Let's see if I can still use this to comb my hair. So here we go. I've got Dark Lord Feather Bottom here to supervise. Let's see if it can even be run through my hair. It seems alright. What do you think? No, no. <laughs> Sounds weird. It seems to work, sort of. There we go. Uh-oh, we hit a snag. It's gonna happen. Oh, I just pulled through it. Good. What do you think, bud? You think I should try the fine tooth? This one might not pull through as easily. Yeah. Oh, it works. It helps that I comb my hair before, huh? <laughs> Maybe I can rattle it up a little bit. Is that good? Actually, it seems to work all right. It'd be better if it was a wide tooth, because it catches the hair much more easily. But it seems to work still. Yeah? It's surprisingly durable, considering it's such a brutal material. There you are, a carbon comb. You can see myself through it. <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. So I just noticed it makes a cool noise. It also breaks. You did good. Good bird. Maybe one of these times we can do feathers and eggs. He says no.